Silence Redefined, November 2014. What's up guys, so a few weeks back I posted an extensive walkthrough on the K70 RGB software, which was so long RGB keyboards had become mainstream by the end of it. And while I had a fun time learning the software over the years, I never got to just take a step back from video production and actually play around with the keyboard's lighting effects. So for this video I decided to lock myself in a dark room with the K70 RGB and have my way with it. Needless to say, the keyboard has already filed a restraining order against me. Now being that I only gave myself a day or so to throw some lighting effects together, I've seen far more more complex creations out there than the ones I'm showing you today, but at the very least this should give you a much better idea of what's possible on an RGB keyboard from Corsair. So let's have a look. Starting out fairly simple with a touch of Christmas spirit, my first program is a flashy wave effect using popular Christmas colors. I used a white background lighting for each key, and red and green for the wave itself, which fans out on both sides at a slanted angle starting from the middle of the keyboard. I added five color markers to the gradient and gave it a high number of tail lights to make the color span wider across the board. I also added some multi-type lighting using a ripple effect, which emits a gentle burst of silver and gold from whichever key is pressed. All colors used were set for full brightness and intensity for optimal Christmas cheer. Here's a look at the whole effect in the dark. For the next mode I did, I wanted to create something a little more subtle that was still cool to look at, so here we have my ember effect. I started out by putting each row of the keyboard into groups and assigning them one-way wave effects of slightly different velocities. Each wave was then given a long tail and set to travel in opposite directions of the one above it. Using a blend of reds, oranges, and yellows, I used varying intensity levels between colors to imitate the pulsating glow you might see from a burning log, for example. To fill in all the dark keys left over by a passing wave, I applied a long dim gradient across the board for a cohesive glowing effect. Finally, I added some single type lighting to give the keys an extra red glow when pressed. As I watched the heavy rain pour outside my window while plotting my next lighting mode, the thought occurred to do a rain effect, and I'm still baffled at how it came to me. 30 seconds later I was staring at a rather repetitive and uninteresting wave of a blue, so I decided to add something more electric to the equation. By illuminating certain keys for a brief moment at different intervals, I was able to create the illusion of lightning bolts striking down on the keyboard. Each group, or bolt, uses a solid effect with a 20 second duration, but only flashes white for half a second at a unique position on the 20 second timeline. This was to prevent two bolts from striking in the same place. Even my lighting effects obey the laws of nature. You should get on my level sometime, it's nice here. I then triggered a big flash to go off every few seconds to emphasize a full blown lightning storm. To finish things off, I added a single type gradient effect with several black and white markers in a short duration to give off a really nice flash effect. For my last effect, I wanted to go all out and see how many seizures I could induce by bringing the light show right to your desk. So now all you raver kids can take ecstasy in your own home like adults. The main effect here is a rapid firing horizontal wave with a dead zone in the middle that I reserved for a smaller vertical wave acting as a centerpiece of sorts for this mode. The F keys were handled similar to the lightning bolts in the last effect, broken up into four separate groups with solid white flashes of light on a much shorter timeline. The four columns of the keypad were also split into groups, including the corresponding multimedia keys above them. Upward wave effects using the same speeds but different intervals were then applied for a staggered aesthetic, which looks particularly cool when the light reaches the multimedia keys up top. Throw in a pulsing brightness button and a not so quiet mute button, and you've got a keyboard that's groovy enough to do the Melbourne Shuffle.
right, so those are my effects. I'm sure by now you guys can see how much more I was able to accomplish this time around than in my last K70 RGB video. Clearly, I'm still a long way off from mastering the software, but after enough tinkering and experimentation, I can finally say, I get it! And now that I have a thorough understanding of how the software works, bringing my imagination to life in the program is actually quite addicting. So I sure enjoyed making this video. Toss me a like if you enjoyed watching it, and let me know what cool effects you've seen or programmed yourself with the Corsair RGB keyboard. By the way, if you want to use any of the effects I showed off today, I've also put links to their respective mode files in the description below. As always, don't forget to bookmark my Amazon affiliate link and pick up a torso chassis like this one in the new Awesome Sauce merch store. The sizes range from mini ITX all the way up to EATX, so no matter your form factor, I've got you covered. Well, the shirt has you covered, but yeah. Also, please consider making a monthly contribution on Patreon to help the Awesome Sauce cause. I'm Kyle with Awesome Sauce Network. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. It's just me and you now. It's just me and you.